Yesterday, Jerome Powell admitted it isn't working and he's out of ideas. Now, don't get excited. He didn't resign. He just promised to do more of what hasn't worked. In their every six-week rates meeting, the Fed held rates steady as expected. But the big news was Jerome Powell warning that inflation is stuck, confounded that inflation, quote, has not reacted much to our existing rate hikes. We're going to have to keep at it. In other words, pause, then more pain. By the way, I predicted this in the newsletter. Now, Powell's white flag came after the previous day's CPI number showed headline inflation easing, but core CPI excluding food and energy, that's the one the Fed takes as the accurate one, stuck around 5% for, at this point, six months in a row. Even at the peak months of our recent inflation in 2022, core bounced around 6%. Now, 15 hikes later, we're stuck at 5 Every central banker knows the longer inflation runs, the harder it is to get rid of. It's like a cancer. At this point, it could take years absent a catastrophic deflationary recession. Looking under the hood, while last month's headline CPI eased, food inflation actually accelerated, coming in at almost 7% on the year. Many would say it's much higher. These are just the government numbers. Everything else, X energy held steady at just over 5% year-on-year, but with some shockers in there. So shelter jumped to 8%, transportation jumped to 10%, goods prices, stuff you can drop on your foot, also accelerated. What brought headline down was that one single price, energy, which dropped a whopping 3.6% on the month. That's about a one-third drop annualized, which is big. Why is energy plunging when everything else is going up? Because energy is a classic recession indicator. When the economy fails, energy goes down. In fact, energy had a similar drop, 3.5% on the month, in March at the height of the banking crisis. By the way, in the 2008 financial crisis, energy absolutely plunged, going from almost $150 to just over $25. In other words, the entire inflation is over narrative is energy. And energy is one of the surest signs of a slowing economy. When the economy is doing well, it soaks up energy. The factories are humming, stores and offices are packed, consumers shop more and they go on vacation. When the economy is tanking, energy plunges. And keep in mind, energy is falling despite Joe Biden's war on domestic energy, which has brought domestic production down over 4 million barrels, that's roughly a third, compared to Trump's pre-COVID trend that normally should have boosted energy because there's less of the stuff. And yet here we are. So inflation is stuck. Headline is just the recession talking. And that's after the most aggressive rate hikes in 50 years since Paul Volcker in the 1970s. So what is next? The Fed is signaling a brief pause and then yet more hikes to crash jobs, banks and real estate, all while inflation keeps running down American families who have already lost over $7,000 in income to inflation. Now that Congress has approved inflationary deficits through 2026, there is no white knight coming. It is on to 1970s stagflation, this time with no Paul Volcker to save the day. Okay, we'll be watching. See you next time.